Welcome to The Educator. My name is Martin Bruta. Please enjoy this presentation. In this presentation, we are taking a look at the poem A Hard Frost by Sizzle Day Lewis. What do you expect from a poem with the title A Hard Frost? I want you to think of denotative meanings as well as connotative meanings. A hard frost denotatively occurs when temperatures become very low, usually below minus 2 degrees Celsius, and anything exposed to the night air then gets a coating of ice crystals. This can be very beautiful, but it also has damaging properties. What else can you associate with cold frost. A Hard Frost by Sizzle Day Lewis A frost came in the night and stole my world and left this changeling for it. A precocious image of spring, too brilliant to be true. White lilac on the window pane, each grass blade furred like a catkin. Maydrift loading the hedge. The elms behind the house are elms no longer, but blossomers in crystal, stem of the mist that hangs yet in the valley below, amorphous in the blind tissue whence creation formed. The sun looks out, and the fields blaze with diamonds. Mockery spring to lend this bridal gear for a few hours to a raw country maid. Then leave her all disconsolate with old fairing of aconite and snowdrop. No, not here amid this flounce and filigree of death is the real transformation seen in progress, but deep below where frost worrying the stiff clots unclenches their grip on the seed and lets our future breathe. Let us now take a closer look at the first stanza. We see in the first line, a frost came in the night and stole my world. The thin layer of ice that forms when the air becomes cold, usually below minus two degrees Celsius, is called frost. And we see that the image here of a thief in the night that comes and steals the world. The world has been transformed or stolen by the frost and it's no longer the same. Which links to the word and left this changeling. A baby that is secretly left to replace another baby. In this instance the frost came and it changes the world that was there the previous day. A precocious image of spring. The word precocious here refers to a child that has certain attributes of an adult at a very early age, ripe before the time. The image of spring, here we have the case that the day is sunny and bright and it looks like it might be spring, while the speaker knows that it's, that it's not. Therefore, it's too brilliant to be true. The white is almost unreal and the frost on the window pane creates patterns that's too good to be true. White lilac on the window pane and each grass blade furred like a catkin by the frost. May drift loading the hedge and the elms behind the house are elms no longer but blossomers in crystal all decorated in white. The stems of the mist that hangs yet in the valley below covering the valley almost hiding it amorphous as the blind tissue whence creation formed. The word amorphous here indicating no definite form or shape, like mist. And the blind tissue here refers to the swamps of primordial ooze from which life is said to have emerged according to evolution theory. If we move on to the second stanza, we see that the sun looks out, 
peaking on the horizon and the fields blaze with diamonds. The thin layer of ice that forms when the air becomes cold glistens in the sun and looks like diamonds. The phrase mockery spring here indicates that the fields mock spring because nothing grows in winter and in spring everything is supposed to come alive. To lend this bridal gear for a few hours to a raw country maid. The frost is seen as new clothing for the fields and it makes the plain country look like a newly adorned bride for the moment until it melts. Also the color, the bright and the white color is linked to the bridal gear. Then leave her all disconsolate with old fairings of aconite and snowdrop, a poisonous root and just the white flower, not the real thing. No, not here. Amid this flounce and filigree of death, it's only exaggerated, it's only ornamental, it's not the real thing. Is the real transformation seen in progress? Where does it happen? But deep below, where frost, worrying the stiff clots, unclenches their grip on the seed and lets the future breathe. The changes are not noticeable above ground. The real changes that are happening from winter to spring, they are happening below ground, unseen. When we look at the form and structure of the poem, the poem is divided into two stanzas with no traditional rhyme scheme. Stanza 1 describes the scene that the speaker is witnessing and stanza 2 comments on that scene. Regarding poetic devices, the whole poem is an extended metaphor. We also find examples of metaphor in lines 11 to 13 and personification in lines 18 and 19. Sound devices are found in line 15 where there is an example of alliteration. In the poem as a whole, there is no overt reference to sound. It's almost as if the speaker is witnessing the scene quietly, sitting still and just watching it. A Hard Frost by Sizzle Day Lewis A frost came in the night and stole my world and left this changeling for it. A precocious image of spring, too brilliant to be true. White lilac on the window pane, each grass blade furred like a catkin, maydrift loading the hedge. The elms behind the house are elms no longer, but blossomers in crystal, stem of the mist that hangs yet in the valley below, amorphous as the blind tissue whence creation formed. The sun looks out, and the fields blaze with diamonds. Mockery spring, to lend this bridal gear for a few hours to a raw country maid, then leave her all disconsolate with old fairing of aconite and snowdrop. No, not here amid this flounce and filigree of death is the real transformation seen in progress, but deep below where frost worrying the stiff clots unclenches their grip on the seed and lets our future breathe. Thank you for watching The Educator. My name is Martin Boerter. Please remember to subscribe on YouTube for more presentations.